With Email Studio for Gmail, you can easily schedule emails right inside Gmail and the add-on will send them later at your preferred date and time. Before we start scheduling emails with Email Studio, if you haven't done so already, please go to emailstudio.pro and install the Email Studio add-on for Gmail. Okay, I'm inside Gmail now and first I'll compose a few emails that I will schedule later. So the first email is for my colleague. Uh, we have a meeting and I just want to conf get a confirmation whether she would be around or not. Now let's create another scheduled mail and this one is for my entire team. I'll be sending a reminder to my team every Friday saying that their weekly timesheets are due so they should submit it in time. In this example, I am preparing a rent reminder and this should go out every month end reminding them that the rent is due. So we are done creating with all the drafts. Now our next task is to schedule these drafts. So let's see how we can do that with email studio. I go to my inbox, uh, but even though email studio is installed in my Gmail account, I don't see it anywhere. And that's because Gmail add-ons only appear when you are inside an email message. To so get around this, I'll open an email message in my inbox. And there you see email studio on the right sidebar. Now I'll choose email scheduler from this list. Now here you're just presented with one option and that is to add a new schedule. So I'll click that. So this is where I will schedule my emails. Uh, first I will select the draft from the drop down. Next I will select the date and time around which this email should go out. And this email has to go out just once so I will choose none for the repeat option and save the changes. Now if I go back to my Gmail website and refresh it, you can see that the new schedule appears in the list of scheduled emails. Let's schedule another email now. This is for the weekly timesheet. Now this is a recurring email that has to go out every Friday. Okay, I save the schedule, go back to Gmail and there you have the new scheduled email as well in the list. Uh, let's schedule our final email and that was the rent reminder. Now for this uh, email, I'll choose a different time zone because my tenant is located in a different time zone and I'll try to send the email according to her time zone. For the recurrence option, I'll choose um, to send it on a monthly basis every last weekday of the month. Also for this email, I'll choose an end date because our rent agreement expires around December. So I don't want to send any more email reminders after that date. So that's pretty much it. All our emails are now scheduled. If you want to edit the schedule of an email, just click the edit button. And if you want to completely remove it from the queue, just hit the delete button. The email studio add-on will now work in the background and automatically send the emails around your schedule time plus minus few minutes. One more thing, we have used email studio inside the Gmail website, but the same options are available on your mobile phone as well. So here I am on my Android phone and I will pull the Gmail app. 
If I'll open any message and if I scroll down and click the add-ons menu, I can access email studio. Now here I'll choose email uh, scheduler. You can see that all the scheduled emails are can be managed from the mobile phone as well. You can edit schedules, you can delete schedules or you can even add new schedules right on your mobile phone just like the desktop.